Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about how to do regular expression matching using dynamic programming. In another video, I talked about how to do wildcard matching using dynamic programming. Today, we're going to talk about regex matching. So the question is, you're given a pattern consisting of characters and two special characters, star and dot, and a text. You have to say that if this pattern matches the text or not. So what does star and dot means? Star means star matches zero or more occurrences of character right before the star and dot matches any single character. So let me help, uh, let me explain this with example. So A dot B. So here we can have any single character between A and B. So for example, if my text is ACB and if my pattern is A dot B, then that is a regular expression match. A, A, B, A, X, B, all of them are regular expression match as long as there is any single character between A and B. On the other hand, A, B, A, C, B, Y, C, B are not a regular expression match with A dot B. Another example, A star B. Here what we are saying is we can have zero occurrences or more occurrences of A followed by B. So if my text is B and if my pattern is A star B, so that's a regular expression match because we can have zero occurrences of A. Similarly, A, B, A, B, A, A, B, all are regular expression match. On the other hand, A is not because we need one B at the end. Also, A, C, B is not a match because there is no C in this, uh, in this uh, regular expression, in this pattern. Let's take one more example, A star B dot star Y. So here we can have zero or more occurrences of A. Then we need to have one B. And then we can have zero or more occurrences of any character. So dot star means, dot means any character, star means zero or more number of times that character. So we, between B and Y, we can have zero or more of any characters and that would be a regular expression match. So let's see BY. So here BY has zero occurrences of A, then we have B and then zero occurrences of dot star and then this is Y. So this text matches this pattern. On the other hand, B and Y also matches this pattern because we have one L between B and Y and zero occurrence of A. A, B, L, Y, A, B, L, M, Y, all of them are matched with this regex, uh, with this pattern. On the other hand, A, Y is not a match because we need this B. A, B is not a match because we need this Y. So these guys are, uh, this text doesn't matches this pattern. So next, let's see how we are going to solve this using dynamic programming. So first, let's look at the recurrence relationship or how we are going to fill up the table in bottom-up dynamic programming. So here, T is a two-dimensional Boolean matrix where I is the index in the text and J is index in the pattern. So if Tij is true, it means that till ith value in text and jth value in pattern, there is a regular expression match. So how does Tij gets its value? So if string of i is same as pattern of j, or if pattern of j is dot, in that case, t of ij will become t of i minus one, j minus one. Why? Because value at i matches uh, pattern at j, or pattern j is dot. So those characters are already matching. So without them or removing them from text and pattern, whatever is left, we check if that is a regular expression match or not. And that value is coming from t of i minus one, j minus one. On the other hand, if pattern at j is star, in that case, we have two conditions. One is if we can have zero occurrences of the value right before this uh, uh, pattern j, so at value pattern of j minus one. For looking at zero occurrence, you look at t of i j minus two. Or we could have one or more occurrences of uh, the value right before pattern, and we, we, we can only apply that if string at i is same as pattern of j minus one or pattern of j minus one is dot. So in that case, this takes a value of t of i minus one j. So basically value at the top. And otherwise this takes a value false. If this is not clear, it's okay because I'm gonna take an example and hopefully that will clarify this logic very clearly. In this example, the pattern is going to be x a star b dot c and text is going to be x a a b y c. So first thing we do is we take a two dimensional boolean matrix. The number of rows and number of columns in this matrix is going to be one more than the length of the text and length of the pattern. Then first thing we're going to do is we're going to initialize the zeroth column and zeroth row. 
So first, let's look at this value t00. So this value here, I have said true. Why? Because if we have an empty string and if we have an empty pattern, then we are going to count that as a regular expression match, which is why this t00 is true. Then let's fill up the zeroth column. So when I'm filling up the zeroth column, I ha I'm considering this. I have an empty, uh, I have an empty string for a pattern. And for my text, I can have any value which has at least one character. If that is the case, that, that will never be a regular expression match, which is why this zeroth column is all false. Now let's talk about the zeroth row. So if my pattern looked something like this, A star or A star B star, what is possible here is that this guy can match with an empty text. If a text is empty, that still has a regular expression match with A star B star because we can have zero occurrence of A and zero occurrence of B. So if we had something like this, if your pattern looked something like this, then we would have, uh, then we would have true values on the zeroth uh, on the zeroth row. But in this case, this pattern with this pattern, there is no way that any value will be true, which is why I have set all the values as false. So now with our zeroth row and zeroth column set, let's move on to the T11. For the simplicity purpose, uh, purpose I'm assuming that my, uh, my uh, string, uh, my text is starting from, my text index and my pattern index is starting from one instead of zero. So T11 and we are here. So at T11, what we are checking is, is this X same as this X? They are same. So what we're going to do is we're going to say what value tij takes. So since string of i is same as pattern of j, t of ij becomes t of i minus 1, j minus 1. And t of i minus 1, j minus 1, this value diagonally is true. So this value also becomes true. Again, if my text, if my pattern is x and my text is x, and since they are a match, so we can, so we can remove them. And what we're left with is two empty uh, strings. And those empty strings were also a match because this value is true. So since that is a match and adding x is same value, so adding x will also continue to be a regular expression match, which is why this value is true. Next, our uh, next, we move on to the next column. Here the value in the pattern is a, and value at the text is x. x is not same as a, so we come directly to this condition and this is false. Next, the value uh, value at the pattern is star. So if the value at the pattern is star, we hit this middle condition. So in this case, we can have zero occurrences of a character right before star, which is A, or we can have one or more occurrences of A. So in this case, for zero occurrence, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do stay on the same row and move two back. So uh, stay, we are on this row and we move two back and take this value. So this value is true, so we can take this value as true as well. So let me clarify. So here we have x a star and here we have x. Now a star can represent zero or more occurrences. If we consider zero occurrence of a, in that case, this doesn't exist and we only have x and we already know that this x matches, this x has a regular expression match with this x because this value is true. So we can just take this value true and move it here and we can assume that there are zero occurrences of A, which is why this value here is true. Next, uh, B is not same as X, so this value is false. Dot, is, uh, dot matches any character, so we again hit this first condition where pattern of J is dot, so we take the value of I minus one, J minus one. So the value of I minus one, J minus one is false, this value here, so this value also becomes false. And C is not same as X, so this value becomes false. Next, let's fill up the next row. So now we are going to match this A and this X. So the values are different. So we take this false value and this becomes false. Then we match this A and this A. So this A is same as this A. So we hit this first condition and take the value of T of I minus one, J minus one. So this value true here. So this value also becomes true. Let me clarify. So here our pattern is XA, our text is XA. Since this A matches this A, then we are just going to check without them, is rest of the, uh, is rest of the uh, regular pattern matches with the, with the text or not? And it does because we, this value is true. So we just take that value here. 
So the next character after this is star. So if it's a star, we hit this middle condition. So first we check is, does uh, a kind of counting zero occurrences of A work? So if to look at that, we go two steps back and this value is false. So since this value is false, it means that we cannot consider zero occurrence of A. So then we are going to check, is the character before star, is that same as this character? The character before star is A, which is same as this character, which is this condition here. So then what we can do is we can look at the value at the top. And this value is true, so this value becomes true. So let me clarify. So we have x a star and we have x a. So first we try to see that does zero occurrence of a works. For that, we get rid of a star and we see that is this a regular expression match. And for that we check here and that is not a regular expression match. If the pattern is x and if my text is x a, it's not a regular expression match. So that value is false. So then we check, can we consider one or more occurrences of A? So since this character, the character right before star was A, which matches with this A, so then we can consider this as a part of this A star. So we can get rid of this A and we check, is X A star a regular expression match with X? And that value is stored right here, the value at the top of the square we were filling. And x a star is a regular expression match with x, which is why we took that value as t. So basically, uh, adding a is also going to be a regular expression match. Then uh, a is not same as b, so this value is false. Dot is uh, dot can be any character. So we hit this first condition and look at t of i minus one j minus one. So we look at the diagonal value and that is false. So this becomes false. And C is not same as A, so this value is also false. Let's move on to the next row. So A is not same as X, so this value is false. A is same as A, so we look at the diagonal value. So we have XA and we have XAA. So this A is same as this A, so we check is rest a regular expression match. So this value is not a regular expression match, so this value also becomes false. A, so now our next character in the pattern is star, so we hit this middle condition. So first we check, does skipping, does having zero occurrence of A works? To do that, we go two steps back and this value is false. So having zero occurrence doesn't help. Then we check, is the character before star same as this one? So this is A and this value is also A. So then we can look at the value at the top. So the value at the top here is T. So this value, uh, the value at the top is true. So that's why this value will also become true. Again, let me clarify, x a star, x a a. So since the character right before this star is a, so this a could be the part of this a star. So we don't consider this a at all and c is rest of this a regular expression match. And that value is stored right here. And this was a regular expression match. So we can use that value to infer that adding a a is also going to continue to be a regular expression match which is why this value is true and which is why we look one uh, row up t of i minus one j next b is not same as a so this value is false dot is uh, matches with any character so we look diagonally this value is false so this becomes false and this will be false finally we hit b so b is not same as x so this value is false b is not same as a so this value is false if we hit star, so first we check is zero occurrence of A. So for that we move two steps back, this value is false. So zero occurrence of A doesn't work. Then we're going to check is the character right before star same. So character right before star is A and that A is not same as B. So we cannot even apply the other condition T of I minus one J. So this is false. This B is same as this B. So then we're going to check, we hit this first condition and you're gonna check without these two b's is rest of the regular expression a match and that value is stored right here and that is a match so this is also a match. Again x a star b and x a a b. So this b and this b matches so we get, uh, we get rid of them and c is rest of the regular expression a match and that value is coming from here and that was a match. So we just reuse that value to derive that adding b will continue to make them a regular expression match. B dot can take any character, so we look diagonally up. This value is false, so this is false, and this will be false. Now we have our character is Y. Y is not same as X, false. Y is not same as A, false. 
uh, star so we look through back this is false and character right before star a is not same as y so this will be false so none of these two condition uh, this condition and uh, this condition doesn't work y is not same as this so this is false dot can take any character so dot can take y so then we look at the diagonal value that value is true so this becomes true again we have x a star b dot c x a a b y so b dot so this dot can match with y so we get rid of them and c is rest of the string and text and pattern a regular expression match they are because this value is true so this value also becomes true and finally y and c is not a match so false and c and x is not same so false false star will not work with c so false false dot and this guy is same so we look diagonally this value is false and finally this c is same as this c so again we hit this first condition and we look at the diagonal value and that value is true so this also becomes true so this is our final answer so this pattern and this text do have a regular expression match so the time complexity for this algorithm is o of m into n and space complexity is also o of m into n next let's look at the code for this algorithm the main function here is match regex it takes in a character array text and a character array pattern and it returns boolean saying that this pattern matches the text or not First, we initialize a two-dimensional boolean array T where the number of rows is text.length plus one and number of columns is pattern.length plus one. Then as we discussed before, T00 is true. This for loop here deals with the zeroth row where uh, we set some values in the zeroth row true if we have a pattern like A star or A star B star or A star B star C star, something like that. So after we are done doing all this, this is where the meat, meat of the logic is. So our i starts from 1 and goes all the way till t dot length and then j starts from 1 and go all the way till t 0 dot length plus 1. And then as we discussed before in the video, if pattern of j minus 1 is dot, so here our pattern is a 0th based index, which is why we are looking at the j minus 1 value. And similarly for the text, I'm looking for i minus 1 value because our i and j's are starting from 1 instead of 0. So if pattern of j minus one is dot, or if pattern of j minus one is text of i minus one, then t of ij becomes t of i minus one j minus one. Else if pattern of j minus one is star, then t of ij first becomes t of ij minus two. And if pattern of j minus two is dot, or pattern of j minus two is text of i minus one, all this we discussed before in the video, then t of ij will be either whatever the value of t of ij is, or t of i minus one j. And if none of this happens, then t of ij is false. And then we keep doing this uh, till both the for loop uh, reaches reach their end. And in the end, we return t of text.length and pattern.length, which is the value at the bottom right corner. So this is all I have to talk about regex matching. Please like this video, share this video, check out my Facebook page, and check out my GitHub link. Thanks again for watching this video.